we're going to come into warrior two. Roll the shoulders down and back, keeping those shoulder blades away from the ears. So we're pressing the hands down to help that happen. We're going to come into reverse warrior. So we're sending the hand up. We're keeping that lateral rotation going on in the shoulders here as we slide the back hand down the back leg. Then we're going to go into extended side angle. So we're getting a nice stretch on both sides of the body here as we go back and forth between these poses. We're going to bring the hand down and come into revolved side angle. Keeping nice length in the spine here. And then we're going to repeat that on the other side. So we're going to come into warrior two. To spread the arms, keeping that in check with the neck and the shoulder blades. And then we're going to open up the arm. Now, option here in reverse warrior to grasp that top wrist. And we just don't want to crunch those back ribs, and sometimes that helps. And we're coming into extended side angle here, really grounding down through the outside edge of that back foot. And then we're coming into revolved side angle. And then we're going to come onto our mat. We're going to come into a low lunge. So if you have sensitive knees, you can fold your blanket or your mat over, or you can get a blanket to put underneath your knees. So we're squaring the hips here. The back leg is straight. To intensify this, we can bring the arms up overhead. And we're going to add a twist. So we're going to plant the hand and twist towards that front knee. You do not have to put the arms up. You can always bring them to the mat or you can bring them to a block if you're feeling unstable. So really pull the belly button towards the spine. Really get stable there before you raise the arms. And this is stretching the hip flexor on the back leg. And we come into our twist and come down. And we're going to grab a block. Um, again, if you have sensitive knees, you can modify this pose. And we're going to come into hero's pose. So we're bringing the pelvis onto a block and, and the, tucking the tailbone just slightly so that we get that angle. We're going to stretch out the quads just a little bit here. And depending on how far you want to go back, you can incorporate some hip flexor stretch as well.